the way space and time is conceptualized in the form of material manifestation of creation, even in modern science, is moving towards theoretical physics, is moving towards clearly saying there are eleven brains or eleven membranes or eleven universes or trans-universes. Beyond that is non-physical dimensions. Still there is existence, but not particular in nature, not material in nature. The deepest trench that you find in the oceans of this world is eleven kilometers. Because the design of what happens in the creation is based on certain fundamentals. One thing manifests in one way, everything else is related to that. She has completed her eleven-year cycle. If you did not know her phone number, it is eleven. <laughs> what is beyond twelve belongs to Shiva, what is below twelve belongs to Devi. Oh, Shiva has got more numbers <laughs> No, that's not how it is. No, because there are some feminists. I want you to understand, this is ultimate feminism. <laughs> this is ultimate feminism where a woman and all the processes of her body are worshipped. Not seen as high and low. So why eleven is? Probably this is not yet well established in the modern sciences. But in the yogic science, the mat material dimensions of creation are in eleven dimensions. Everything that's material is eleven. If it moves to the twelfth dimension, it starts dissolving into becoming non-material or non-physical in nature. So what is beyond twelve is Shiva's realm. She -va means that which is not. So beyond twelve, it is no more physical, it is that which is not. What is below twelve is eleven, so this is that which is. So Devi is consecrated in a way that everything that we do with her is eleven. Like, like here if I say, where are you? You'll say, here Sadhguru. But your voice is coming out of here, all right, for me. You say, where are you? I can't see. Here Sadhguru, here Sadhguru. Where is here? I look here. <laughs> so, if you were trained in a military force or in aviation or in navigation, then you would say, Sadhguru, I'm here. Where? Two o'clock Sadhguru, then I know you're here. In the clock, this is twelve, one, two. Devi's threshold is like this. What is that? Hello? Eleven. Are any of you doing Devi sadhana? Anybody doing Devi sadhana? How many cycles? Eleven cycles? She is eleven o'clock. Devi temples, number eleven is always important because in the twenty-eight day cycle of womanhood, the eleventh day is very significant. If you if one does sit in sadhana, not for the men, the women do, do certain sadhana, naturally their, their own physical cycle will get aligned with the cycle of the moon. Those of you who are onto the Devi sadhana. And uh, then the eleventh day becomes a day when the body shifts from 
one aspect to another. And the next four days can be very significant in terms of spiritual sadhana and experience. If this day is handled properly, particularly for women, the way space and time is conceptualized in the form of material manifestation of creation, even in modern science, is moving towards theoretical physics, is moving towards clearly saying there are eleven brains or eleven membranes or eleven universes or trans-universes. Beyond that is non-physical dimensions. Still there is existence, but not particular in nature, not material in nature. The deepest trench that you find in the oceans of this world is eleven kilometers. Because the design of what happens in the creation is based on certain fundamentals. One thing manifests in one way, everything else is related to that. There is something called as a constructional theory that they have gone into, these days, and uh, they are clearly saying the design of an atom and the design of the cosmos are same. The fundamental design of an amoeba and that of a human being is the same. Only the complexity and sophistication has multiplied manifold over, so it looks so different, but fundamentally, it is the same thing. So because of this, in the material world, so many things hang around number eleven, because that is the dimension we are representing as Devi. To find success and victory in the material world. If you transit from this, go into twelve, we are only thinking of mukti, that is being liberated from the material world. I always feared when I consecrated eleven years ago, and that day itself I said, I have a fear in my heart that she will become more popular than him <laughs> It is happening already. As a part of regulating her uh, popularity, we are doing a bit of a lockdown for the last few years for her, not just for the virus, even before. We are closing down the Devi temple for a period of time. This period may increase as she becomes more popular because we don't want people to be more focused on material victory than ultimate victory in their lives. They need to come, temple is closed, so at least then they go and sit in dhyana. <laughs>